Good morning and welcome to Nigeria Now, showing on your digital first Pan-African News Network to US television. And as always, we come from Nigeria's federal capital city, Abuja. My name is Merciful Ajinomo. Let us get ourselves acquainted with the stop stories from the front pages of these newspapers that we have for you today. We'll begin from the Daily Sun newspaper. From the very top there, we see APC concedes national chairman secretary to top shot. Two riders on the leader story, leaders push for consensus candidate and the second, February convention uncertain. We can get out on page 8 of the Daily Sun and then we see something right there on page 27. Government vows to use maximum force to quell attempted jailbreaks invasion. And that can be found on page 27 of the Daily Sun newspaper. The banner headline there is Buhari rejects state police, says no political solution for Namdi Kano. President utterances show he is comfortable with killings in the land that's coming from PDP. And now from the very, uh, just beside the picture of the day there, we see Magodo, Southwest Governors, Federal Government on Collision Course, that can be found on page 4. The writer there says, ask Samwolu to deploy a motorcon corps to disputed areas. And then we see President Drops Ararume appoint Okadibo's widow NNPC board chairman. You can get out on page 8. Uh, federal government declares bandits as terrorists, issues gazette. We can get out on page 3. And then uh, we see Olubadon Kingmakers indoors. Send Balogun's name to Makinde for approval. That can be found on page 20 of the Daily Sun. And then we see another gaping headline there. Oromoni Lagos class five Doen College students staff. We can get out on page 4. DPP orders release of suspect. Uh, that can be found on the Daily Sun as well. And then we see on page 27, IPOP threatens Southeast schools on national anthem. And we move over to the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. From the very top there, we see on page 2, Olu Ibadan in council publicly announces Lekan Balogun as next Olu Ibadan. That can be found on page 2. And then page uh, 2022 budget, Nigeria to pay more for non-alcoholic beverages. We can get that on page 6. Three riders the first. FIRS collects 6.4 trillion naira revenue. And then federal government records 1.104 trillion naira independent revenue. That's coming from DG Budget Office. And then plans to right size workforce in agencies. We'll move over to the banner headline there. And that's federal government formally declares bandits as terrorists. That can be found on page 29. Uh, talking about Oromoni's death, Lagos exonerates Durban College students' staff. That can be found on page 4. Federal government others probe into Ilefe attempted jailbreak. Of course, that can be found on page 25. Uh, affair on Thursday, Nigeria is not ripe for cashless economy. And there's a question mark right there. We can get out on the back page of the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. Uh, and then we see beside uh, the picture of the day there, Ikoi building collapse. Tribunal blames incident on erosion of professional ethics due diligence. Uh, summit report that can be found on page 12. 27 years after Ijebu Igbo gets Orimolusi. We can get out on page two. And then we see uh, uh, a statement right here that says, I hope to see my son before I die. Father of Abdul Mutalab jailed in US for terrorism is sane. And that can be found on page six. Uh, two staff members killed, three expatriates missing as bandits attack Zungeru Hydro Dam. We can get out on page 23. And then uh, besides that, we see Magodo Lagos to search for 549 plots for Shangisha landlords that can be found on page 28. Southwest governors decry CSP's disrespect for Samwolu. Want Buhari to call Melami, IGP to order. Stop unjustifiable accusation of impunity against Melami. Aid tells governors that can be found on page 12. And then we see another um, gaping hardly headline there. And Buhari says, I have no interest in who emerges my successor. We can get out on page 29. Uh, a couple of writers there, the first. To sign electoral bill if options exist for primaries, reject state police again, says he is absolutely aware of people's pains. Kano will account for his actions, but of course that can be found on page 29. And the last rider, education not an automatic ticket to government jobs, he argues. All of that can be found on the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. We move over to the Vanguard. The banner headline there is insecurity uproar, as Buhari says, state police not an option. 
Of course, that's still an offshoot of the chat, the interview that happened yesterday with Mahmoud Buhari and Channels Television. Uh, we see a couple of riders there. Police officers disrespect to Sangwalu, unacceptable intrusion, says Southwest governors. Condemn AGF Malami for moral turpitude. And then Malami berates Southwest governors, insist on enforcement of South Court verdict, Supreme Court verdict rather, saying state police not an option means Buhari is comfortable with killings in the land. That's coming from PDP chair Ayu. And 52 Northern groups back Buhari say state police a recipe for disaster. Uh, we see Sam Wulu police altercation erodes jurisdictional authority coming from Mohanese. A Fanny Ferre Pande fought Buhari insist on state police say Nigeria's federal spirit desecrated. All of that can be found on the Vanguard. And from the very top there, we see federal government rebuffs private sector, imposes 10 naira per liter tax on soft drinks that can be found on page 19. Uh, we see uh, an article right there on the very top. I hope to see my son in my lifetime, says Umaru Mutilab, father of Jared Underwear, Bomber Farouk, that can be found on uh, page 38. And then talking about the audit report, 12 MDAs failed to remit 5 billion naira taxes. We can get out on page 9. Senate digs into $679 million on remitted revenue from port concession that can be found on page 20. And beside the picture of the day, there are the graphics of the day, rather. We see Federal Government Gazette's court order declares bandits terrorists that can be found on page 8. And then Magodo Samwolu agrees to give 549 plus to landowners. We can see the story created across all the newspapers for this morning. And then Federal Government deficit spending rises 33% to over 7 trillion naira in 11 months. That can be found on page 20. Besides that, we see Buhari says, I have no interest in my successor. Again, we can see that on several newspapers this morning. And we can get out on page 38 of the Vanguard. Uh, we see new Orimo Losi of Ijebu Ibo emerges 27 years after. And then 10 Olubadon in council members endorse Balogun as next Olubadon. That can be found on page 10 of the Vanguard. And the last newspaper this morning is the Nation newspaper. The banner headline there is Buhari. Why I want to disclose why I won't disclose my preferred 2023 candidate. Uh, of course, we have two writers on in that picture, uh, that story. Decision to protect likely successor. I will sign electoral amendment bill when reworked. That can be found on page three of the nation newspaper. Uh, we see federal government to lay off workers. That, can be, uh, that comes on the front page of the nation. Severance package being worked out, says Minister. Labor kicks. Uh, we see an outrage over CSP's refusal to obey Sam Wolu, Governor's AGF clash. And then we see from the very top, Kingmakers speak Lekin Balogun as Oli Badon. Again, we see that story on page 5 of the nation. And again, we see Gazette classifying bandits terrorists out. Other may affect IPOB. Uh, that can be found on page 4. Buhari rejects state pleas. Okadi Bo's widow is NNPC Limited board chair. And then Okorocha hits Uzodima. That can be found on page 5 of the nation newspaper. Uh, we see uh, other stories right there. Uh, I don't have any favorite for 2023. If And if I do, I won't reveal his identity because if I do, he may be eliminated before the election. I better keep it secret. That's coming from President Muhammad Buhari. And of course, that can be found on the nation newspaper. And from the on the bottom of the paper right there, we see Lagos government clears five Doran college pupils. We can get out on page two. Chieftaincy titles for Faleke wife. We can get out on page five of the nation newspaper. Don't forget, you can also stay updated on our website. That is www.tostvnetwork.com. Uh, you can get updates from Nigeria. Stories in happening in Nigeria and of course across Africa because we're a digital first Pan-African news network and our social media platform is right there for you to like and follow. Just be engaged so you do not miss out on happenings in Nigeria and of course across Africa. That is at TOS TV Network on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to also like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at TOS TV Network so you do not miss out on amazing videos we have for you. Thank you for watching Nigeria Now this time. My name is Merciful Ajinomo. Stay safe and see you tomorrow.